Good evening from London again, and hello from me, Dr. Dermot Hudson, Chairman of the British Group for the Study of the Duchadia, Chairman of the UK Korean Friendship Association, and President of the Association for the Study of Songan Politics UK. I'm uh, here tonight again uh, to talk about the, in fact, to denounce the unjust British sanctions against People's Korea, which uh, were announced by the Foreign Office on uh, Monday, allegedly as part of some kind of uh, so-called uh, global human rights uh, programme of, of the uh, British uh, government. And two alleged entities in the DPRK were uh, targeted, were subjected to British uh, sanctions. Uh, and, you know, we can only ask, you know, if the British government is so worried about human rights, why don't they impose sanctions on the uh, U USA for the uh, death of uh, George Floyd? Why don't they impose sanctions on the US uh, police and, in fact, uh, you know, ban uh, members of the uh, US police force from coming in into the UK and uh, doing their shopping uh, in, in the U UK? The British government uh, have shown themselves up to be extremely... Uh, hypocritical and two-faced in uh, in not sanctioning the US but uh, picking on the independent uh, DPRK which has uh, done nothing wrong and the uh, allegations against the DPRK by the British government are you know the usual stuff about, about uh, forced labour and the word gulag uh, is used now this is total and complete nonsense because the word gulag has absolutely no meaning in the korean language it is a russian word uh, that uh, referred to uh, uh, re-educational and correctional in institutions that existed in the uh, soviet union uh, for a time I believe they were actually abolished in the 1950s and it is absolute nonsense uh, to suggest that these actually exist in in the DPRK uh, you know it's a absolute nonsense it's fabricated uh, so you know the British government is both uh, trying to smear uh, and tarnage the image of people-centred socialism in the DPRK but impose uh, sanctions on people's career with the aim of trying to stifle uh, the socialist system in people's career. It is uh, very disappointing as a British citizen to say the least and in fact uh, regrettable and deplorable that uh, uh, you know Britain instead of taking uh, you know the opportunity that was opened up by withdrawing from the EU uh, to forge better relations with people's career on the basis of equality, independence, mutual benefit and cooperation uh, you know they could have actually ripped up the European Union sanctions against the DPRK and they could have struck all kinds of trade deals with people's career we could have DPRK kimchi in our shops and other DPRK products uh, like uh, DPRK hot pepper sauce on sale in our shops but instead uh, you know the British government uh, has basically uh, said to the US uh, you know uh, how high do we, we have to jump for you? Uh, British government's acting as a poodle of the US, as, as a puppet and as a satellite state, and it's doing U, uh, US imperialism's dirty work against people's career. Therefore, we 
denounce the uh, British sanctions against the DPRK and we call for them to be uh, revoked and indeed all uh, sanctions by the UK government against people's careers should be rev revoked and a new uh, relationship uh, based on the principles of independence and mutual cooperation should be forged and you know, there's a lot of uh, opportunities of different kinds of exchange like in the field of culture so we say down with the British sanctions on people's career and uh, please uh, support the activities of our UK Korean Friendship Association and the British Group for the Study of the Duchy Idea and Association for the Study of Sungan Politics this video is going to be put on uh, both our channels, Songam 007 and UK KFA. And uh, we thank you for what, what, watching and wish you a good evening. Stay safe. Thank you. Good night.